One more review. I'm Steve O. Craig, and this is the 60th episode of The Movie Review Show. What is the movie review show? I go to my local theater, Redmond Cinema 8, I watch a new release movie, and I review it. I use a popcorn rating system, 110 popcorn. One popcorn being the worst, and 10 popcorn being the best. Today's movie stars three superhero protagonists Captain Marvel, Monica Rambeau, and Kamala Khan. And a scene, in my opinion, that ruins the movie. It's The Marvels. And here's the trailer Captain Rambo? What the hell are you doing? Entering the jump point perimeter. I'm gonna get you some readings, Fury. Monica. Hello? Monica. Hello? Captain Rambo. What the? Hi. We're looking for Kamala Khan. Okay, so our powers are entangled. I can manipulate light energy. And you, I can totally show you. No! No! I'm not again! Hi. Where's our daughter? Wherever you are. It's review time. The movie begins with a red and black sun, spaceships, a moon, a woman breaking a rock, inside a gauntlet, she puts it on, it's one of a pair, Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel, has the other one. Carol Danvers, also known as Captain Marvel, Kamala Khan, also known as Miss Marvel, and Monica Rambeau, known as Monica Rambeau, work together as a team Kamala calls the Marvels. They become linked through quantum entanglement, which causes them to switch places when they use their powers. The cat Goose from the movie Captain Marvel is also in this movie. If you don't know, Goose has tentacles that come out of her mouth and can swallow large objects. In this movie, she has babies. Nick Fury has to get a lot of people off a of space station. He realizes that if the cats swallow the crew, they'll take up less space. Then everyone can escape. In a funny sequence, the cats are swallowing everyone while the song Memories from the musical Cats plays. The things I didn't like about the movie. Kamala Khan's family plays a big part in her story and I just didn't find the family scenes to be funny. And in my opinion, they're overacted. The scenes are supposed to be humorous, but they felt forced. Okay, this is the big one. To me, this scene literally destroyed the movie. While watching the movie, I was thinking, wow, there's no woke or political statements in this movie, which surprised me since it was a movie about three female superheroes. And I thought, that was great. And then, out of nowhere, they go to a planet that has a patriarchal society. Patriarchal society by definition means a society controlled by men in which they use their power to their own advantage. I'm sure this was supposed to be some sort of woke or political statement. But what destroyed this movie for me, and this is definitely a spoiler, on this planet, everyone communicates by singing. When the scene started, I was like, what the hell? This is so dumb. To me, this scene didn't fit in the movie. It was unnecessary, 
and it didn't seem to add to the plot. It will be forever tied to this film, and when people think about the Marvels, they're going to remember this scene. I might have missed something. Maybe the singing was supposed to be funny, but to me, it wasn't. It was just cringy. I was going to give this movie a solid 8, but after the singing plant scene, my score dropped to a 4. Okay, I wanted to add this. Uh, I made a TikTok out of this review, and someone commented that the singing plant scene was supposed to be a jab at Disney and their songs. Which I can see, but I don't get why. Disney owns Marvel. Um, during this scene, Captain Marvel dances with a prince. Don't get angry at me for saying this, but I got imp the impression that the whole purpose of the scene was just to put Brie Larson in a dress. Is Captain Marvel a Disney princess now? This scene made no sense. I'm not going to analyze it anymore. Next, I'm going to show my score, and then show Rotten Tomatoes and Metacritic, and see how close their scores are to mine. Okay, I'm looking at Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if the scene bothered other people, or, or if it was just me, and maybe I was overreacting. Well, let's see. Uh, the tomato meter is 62%, and the audience score is 85%. So I'm guessing people thought it was funny. I, I just didn't think the scene was funny. Okay, uh, next one, look up uh, Metacritic. I saw one of the scores. Um, wow. The um, score I saw was the Metascore, and that's 50. And then the other score, which is the user scores, 3.6. So I'm thinking some people might have felt the same way I felt about that scene. But yeah, these are definitely low scores. Well, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, as always, I'll be watching for you.